WordPress has thousands of themes and plugins to help you build your website, but they don't always have the features that you need, or it might be that the theme or the plugin is kind of restricting your creativity. Maybe it's the styling or the format or just the way some of the features work. You know, it might be a plugin where you've got to start thinking about JavaScripting and things like that and your brain starts to explode. And where do you do all of these changes? Maybe you're not an experienced coder and when someone says go to the theme editor, you start panicking and sweating. I know I do sometimes. Or maybe you've got to hire an expert. And what if the expert puts the code somewhere and later on you want to modify it and you can't get hold of that expert? And where do you put the code? In the theme? In the, within the plugin? Within the exact element? Imagine handing a website off to a client. How are they going to know what to do? There's a lot of risk involved. Trust me. I hate it when I look at a widget and I go, well, how do they change that? And I then realize that their codes are spread out all across the website, tons and tons of CSS all over the place. But there is a solution to help you. It's Code Snippets. It is my go-to plugin that I use for adding codes to my website. And I'm not the only one. You wouldn't have a plugin running for 10 years if it wasn't good and worth its time. I mean, there are tons of resources out there. Let me just reel off some of the benefits. You don't have to have a child theme. I don't build websites with child themes, not because I don't know what to do with it, but because I'm thinking about my end user. When I hand over to a client, here's your theme that you're going to look after and that will be updated. And then here's the codes in code snippets that do modifications for your CSS, your uh, your JavaScripting or anything like that. It protects you. You put in a bit of code and you type it incorrectly. The minute you activate, you get a message from code snippet saying, uh-uh, this ain't going to work. Guess what? It has not broken your website. You can just hit the back button and you're back to where you started. You'll even get an email. So in case you wanted to forward it on to someone or look deeper into it, you could do. The beauty about code snippets is that it's free. And it's got a brilliant team working behind it. And like I've already said, it puts all your codes into one place. But not now spread out across your WordPress database in the plugin, in your theme customizer, maybe within the element or the widget, or maybe within another CSS editor. Uh -uh. It's all in one place and you can deactivate and activate what you want. Code Snippets is going a step further. For the first time in 10 years, there will now be a Code Snippets Pro. This is now going to open up the doorway to storing your codes within Google Cloud. So you can start to pull them down and activate them on any site. You don't have to keep duplicating the effort. Imagine a community as well, whereby you can now access loads of code snippets and have experts writing them and putting them all in one place. Code Snippets Pro takes things to another level. But if you want the free version, if you want to start messing around with your website and have all of your codes in one place in a protected, clean format, Code Snippets is the thing to use. It's free and easy to use.